Hey, this week I'm at the Marquee Show in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Brings me over to QSC. Now, QSC has got their new K-Series, been out for a little while. And uh, for somebody like me, I, I'm thinking about going from my old K-Series to the brand new K-2 Series. I've got Nick here. He's a representative with QSC. I'm going to give him the microphone. He's going to tell us a little bit of the differences between the old stuff and the new stuff and the great things that the new, uh, the new K-Series could do. Nick, take it away. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Nick from AudioBiz, and uh, these are the K.2s, as you can see. Uh, we continued with the same three size configurations. We have an 8-inch two-way, a 10-inch two-way, and a 12-inch two-way. Uh, main differences between these ones is we're now featuring a 2,000-watt peak power amp. Uh, with new updated high frequency drivers and also updated some cabinet construction to go along with it. Uh, on the back, you'll also notice some new changes that we've done to the DSP. Uh, we've got two inputs that are all on a digital LCD screen now. Uh, we have six different presets that you can navigate from by tapping this button here. Right now it's on default. We can click there and switch and cycle between the different presets. These are different algorithms that QSE has built into the background of the box. So there's nothing you would see on an EQ curve uh, from a, say, a touch mix uh, screen. But those are all available to you right on the back as presets. We've also included two, I'm sorry, three new crossover points, 80 hertz, 100 hertz, and a 125 hertz cut, which are easily loadable. Just click the enter button there, and it gives you that uh, sub menu. We can exit out of there and click over delay, and delay allows us to align the speakers further in distance. So if we're in an environment where we need to align speakers 25 feet further out, we can go ahead and adjust that to where the audio will match from our original source to where it is going moving forward. And then additionally and lastly, we have a four-band parametric EQ. Uh, all controllable, all sweepable. We can change different frequencies that we're boosting and cutting and uh, go back from there. If you don't like anything that you've done to the EQ, simply scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the reset button, and it will return it right back to zero as far as the EQ curve. Uh, any settings that you want to store can be stored right in this menu here. It tells you the model. There are no firmware updates that we're going to be doing to this box. It's going to be the same firmware in all cabinets that you purchase, whether they're older or newer. Uh, you can also adjust whether the LED is on, on the front or whether it is off. Uh, contrast for the screen and recalling different scenes that you store yourself. Uh, so that's what's new with the uh, QSC K.2 series. Uh, as far as the back panel's concerned, we've also added a, or changed from a RCA inputs to a 3.5 jack, keeping it current with what we're using as far as iPods or if we're trying to connect to different Bluetooth devices. Um, and that's what's new with the QSC K.2 series. Perfect.